Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make sushi, how to buy the ingredients, how to cook the rice, how to roll it, and I'm going to share a special secret to make the layer of rice very thin. So grab your sushi mat and let's go. For the rice, it's important to get a Japanese rice for sushi. Uh, we can find very expensive brand, it's not necessary, this one is good. For a home sushi, it's perfect. The instructions on how to cook it are here on the back, and um, I'll show you, it's very simple. If you read the instruction for the rice, uh, it'll tell you to um, wash it, to take away all the starch, uh, until the water becomes clear. Don't worry, that's not going to happen. Just wash it a couple of times and you're ready to go. I got my rice washed just two three times. I put a little bit of water in the pan. I'm going to cover it and bring it to boil five minutes and then simmer for 12 until the water is completely dry. You have to really watch out that you don't burn the rice because the water is just enough if the water evaporates too quickly, then the rice will burn. While the rice boil, it's very important not to open the lid because the rice is actually cooking with the vapor that is formed inside the pot. So leave the pan closed, let it simmer for five minutes and then move it into low heat for another 12 minutes. The ingredients are very simple. Soya sauce, rice vinegar to season the rice, algis nori to roll the sushi, wasabi if you like it spicy, sesame seeds for the uramaki. While the rice is cooking, I'll prepare the seasoning for the rice. So I'm cooking half a kilo of rice and on the box it says to put six tablespoons of sugar. That's way too much. I usually put less sugar, so I'm going to put only four tablespoons. Then I'm adding one cup of rice vinegar. And one teaspoon of salt. You don't need a lot of salt because the soya sauce will be salty. So one teaspoon is enough. So you just warm up the vinegar with the sugar until the sugar is completely dissolved. Once the rice has been simmering for 12 minutes, you let it rest for 10, still covered, so the, the vapor still uh, cooks the rice. And the rice is done, so you um, add the syrup that we made with the rice vinegar. And you let it come down to room temperature. To speed up the process, I usually lay it out on a dish. Since the salmon will be eaten raw, you have to make sure that it has been treated properly. Ask your fishmonger should have been stored at minus 20 centigrade for at least 7 days. Now that all the ingredients are ready, let's get rolling.
make sure that the cuts on the algae are perpendicular to the mat sticks.